because they feel like it cheapens the work of the designer or that, in fact, the client does not get the kind of work that they deserve uh, in, in the end, the kind of product that they deserve. So what would you what would your response be to those people who criticize the model in that way? I think we're really opening up design to a whole new segment of people. Um, a lot of businesses um, simply get clip art done for their logo or use an online logo maker to create their business identity simply because the business owner or entrepreneur doesn't feel qualified enough to uh, judge a, a designer and pick up one that they're comfortable with. So I think we're opening design to a whole new segment of people while also very much democratizing the process of design. It doesn't matter now whether you're 18 or 60 years old, whether you live in the U.S., whether you have a fancy office, whether you present well in person. Each designer is only judged based on their skill, not based on their college degree, their client list, their age, or what country they live in. So I think we're really opening up a lot of opportunity to designers who otherwise might not have had it. Just as an example, we had uh, Pastor Rick Warren, who wrote The Purpose Driven Life, when a design project for his new book cover on 99 Designs. He obviously has a big book publisher, and the traditional way of getting a book cover done for a book that will sell millions of copies would be to go to one of the big design studios in New York, pay tens of thousands of dollars for a couple concepts, and call it a day. But they decided to open up this project to the 99 Designs community, they had 5,100 covers to choose from, and the winning designer actually is is a couple, a design couple living in Italy. So they had the opportunity to do this book cover for a New York Times best-selling author that they never otherwise would have had, simply because they weren't, you know, in New York City. They didn't have a fancy office in downtown Manhattan and all these other uh, trappings that come with, you know, with the design industry in many cases. Yeah, I love that. That's a great story. I mean, you're, you're right. That's exactly what it does. It, it has leveled the playing field. It has offered a lot of opportunity to small businesses that might otherwise have been intimidated or felt like they didn't have the resources to pursue professional design. And it's uh, given very talented designers who may not have been able to build up yet their uh, recognition or brand to to show their work and, and make some money for it and start uh, attracting those clients. So uh, I, I think it's very, I mean, in, in a free market sense and seeing the pains on both sides of, you know, talented design. Designers uh, without the the recognition that they needed yet, and uh, clients who needed good design who didn't have the resources yet, you've solved the pain on both sides. And I, you know, that's I think that's a, a great model for any business. Is obviously when you are solving an urgent pain that a market has. Um, exactly. And the other thing that people don't realize is that many of the designers in our community use our our marketplace as a lead generation tool. So rather than going to networking meetings or putting out the yellow pages ad ads, they're doing what they're best at, which is designing. And about 50% of the projects on 99designs leads to follow-on work outside of our system. So someone might come to 99designs, get logo designed, and then hire that designer one-on-one to get their business cards and stationery or whatever uh, designed on the side. So it gives you know a designers a way to market themselves, and many designers might not necessarily be good at in-person sales or you know what have you. So it's a way for them to get noticed and to gain clients by doing what they're best at. So how how much? So it's I'm let's say I'm a, I'm a small business guy. I'm trying to get my new internet business going. I've maybe installed WordPress on my site. Um, I've I've chosen a company name for myself. So I I'm going to need. Uh, you know, uh, some various different design work, uh, potentially. W- what kinds of things could I go to 99designs to get designed for me, um, you know, given that I'm trying to launch a brand and, and a new website? So popular things to get designed would be logos, uh, web pages, blogs, banner ads, business cards, uh, brochures, and other marketing material, book covers, product labels. We've had many water brands and energy drink brands use us for their product packaging and branding. We've had companies use 99designs to get uh, fashion designs done. Uh, we had a jean brand that had like the back pocket stitching designs through our community. It's uh, very wide open. So anything that requires a lot of creativity and that you want to open up to a wide uh, audience of designers, you can use our marketplace for. Very cool. So I I can find a designer for any of that stuff then. Exactly. Awesome. So how much could I expect to, so let's say I want a logo. I know that's, that's uh, something early on a lot of our uh, students and listeners that when they start a website, they're like, well, I need a good, you know, 
uh, logo to put on my website, put on my business cards or whatever. What kind of price range am I looking at if I if I turn to the 99designs community? How much can I expect to spend on a logo? You're looking at about 200 to 300 or $400 for a logo design. Uh, the great thing about our model is that rather than getting bids, you actually set the price up front and then designers who are interested in based on your budget level, participate in your project. So the more money you offer, the more designs you will get. At a price point of about $300, you can expect anywhere from 70 to 150 logo concepts made just for you. And there's some tips that we can get into a little bit later about how to maximize designer participation in your project as well. Okay, well, I got to say, I mean, that sounds like an, a great deal, and I've I've certainly gotten a good deal on on designs. I've been very happy with. I mean, two to two or three or four or five hundred dollars for a logo is actually pretty reasonable. I mean, you could very easily uh, for a quality the quality of logo or design that I've seen come out of ninety nine designs. Yeah, I could yeah I could very easily see somebody spending a thousand or more dollars on on that kind of a thing. So um, it, yeah, it does turn out to be a, a very good deal. Okay, I, I want to go back really quickly uh, to a question that kind of interests me because you, you mentioned how you just having the separate ba- brand of 99 designs has helped that logo contest thing really take off exponentially. H- how did you go about making that decision of going, you know what, this does need to be its own separate thing. This is no longer under the site point umbrella per se. It needs to have its own brand because I'm sure there's people listening who have, I, I mean, I've hit that in my own business. I'm sure there's people listening who will or have hit that as well, where they, they all of a sudden there's this new opportunity and you have to make the decision, is this its own brand or is this just something under the umbrella of my current business? So how did you make that decision for yourself? I think the key turning point was um, thinking about who the typical user for 99designs will be. And we realized that it's a much wider market. It goes beyond just people in the Internet industry. And this model could be used by realtors, by plumbers, by mutual funds, by food companies, by all sorts of businesses who would probably never find us um, if we kept this design contests. Uh, thing hidden under site point and cluttered up with all the other different things that we offer under that brand and under that URL. So, so it was a big enough shift in the target market. You just, you asked yourself, okay, who's the target market for this? And it was a big enough shift that you felt like, yes, this needs to stand on its own as its own brand. Exactly. We thought that word of mouth would never exist if we had kept it as part of sitepoint.com. Basically, if you told someone, go to sitepoint.com to get a logo, they type in sitepoint.com in their browser and they get a tutorial about PHP, they would just leave right away. Um, so we thought that having a separate brand that's very much focused on only providing a single service would help a great deal with the word of mouth aspect um, and open us up to a much, much wider audience. Very cool. Well, that, that's gonna that you know, concludes this first part of the interview, which is for the the free podcast. And so, I, I guess I would just say to those who are listening, definitely, if you've got any kind of design needs, whether it's something as, as simple as a new logo, or you know, something more complex, a, a full on WordPress design template that you uh, want put together, or, or a full branding and identif- identity package for your business, uh, it's definitely worth checking out 99 Designs. My recommendation would be to go there, look around at some of the projects and types of things that are posted and uh, and get an idea for the quality of work that's coming out of that, the kind of prices that are 